everyone happy Wednesday I hope everybody had an awesome Wednesday today is February 7th and okay so I walked into the five below to get one thing I I subscribed to their newsletters and I saw that they had like bath bombs and I was like okay I love bath bombs especially like lavender bath bombs like in the evening when you're trying to relax I was like okay I just got home from a long day I've been up since like 6 a.m. and I said I'm gonna run into the five below I'm gonna get the bath bomb. I'm gonna walk out. <laughs> so, that did not work out because I clearly have two bags right here. And it's like, I haven't done a legit five below haul in I think months because I've been doing good not going in there and splurging. And y'all, oh my gosh, so I got to the checkout line and I didn't even have my credit card. So I had to use my school debit card. So, I usually don't do that, nor do I condone that. Y'all, if you put money aside for school, don't be tapping into it for five below. Okay, but oh my goodness, all this stuff, like, I'm really excited. Like, I'm really excited. Oh my goodness. So, I spent $34.97 in five below tonight. $34.97. So we're gonna round that up to $35. And I want y'all to remember that. On all this stuff I'm about to show you, I spent $35. Just remember $35 on all this stuff. Let's get started. So Five Below has this entire, first of all, let me backtrack it. For those of y'all who don't know what Five Below is, it's basically a wonderful discount store where everything is five bucks and under. Now they do have some special stuff like behind the counter that's above five dollars and something like that. I ignore it. Everything that we need to be focused on is five bucks and under. And they have an entire section in the middle where it's just books. And I was just window shopping, but then it was like, yeah, I'm not really window shopping because I'm about to, about to get three books. So this is one of the books I picked up. It's called Food, A Love Story. And I don't really know this guy. I don't know a lot of people. So it's by Jim, Jen Gaffigan. I can't really see the five below things covering up. But this book was $3. Oh, $3. I thought it was gonna be five dollars but it was three dollars and if I were to just go into the regular bookstore and buy it it would have been twenty six dollars just 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 think about that so I think yeah Jen Gaffigan I think I'm pronouncing it right uh, I think he's some sort of comedian and he talks about food and it's like I love food so I said I'll pick it up and read it I need to really get back into my reading it's like I slacked off with all my hobbies when the semester starts and it's like I don't want to do that. Next up, I got a novel. Like, I've been trying to get into this, like, this author a little bit more. So I asked my dad, hey, can you buy me some of his books for Christmas? And he didn't. And I really don't think my dad wants me reading his novels. For whatever reason. I got a Stephen King novel. Oh my goodness. It's called The Bazaar of Bad Dreams. And what I think it is, is it's a bunch of stories in this book. Like, stories he wrote and I think never published or something like that. And I thought it was, like thought it was great because I have a bunch of books up there that are like this you know the bunch of stories in there and it's like I really like it so if I would have just bought this book from the regular bookstore it would have been $30 $30 compared to $5 that I spent for this thick novel oh my gosh I could, I could swing with somebody with this oh my gosh wow I can't wait to get into this and my third and final novel that I purchased is called how I lost you it's five dollars if I would have purchased it at the regular bookstore it would have been ten dollars half off so it's basically about these two girls they were best friends and then some drama happened and now they're I don't know look I thought it was interesting I kind of like drama stories because it's like I don't like when drama happens to me but it's okay when it's happening to somebody else and I can just read about it okay so these are the books I picked up. If I just would have gone into Barnes and Noble and purchased them, how much would they have been? Like 30, almost 60, 60 something dollars for this? I love Five Below. So I got some headphones and I might take these back. This is like one of those impulse things that I just kind of bought because I think I have headphones right in here. Where are they? I think I have headphones in there, so I'm going to listen to these. These are um, Ultramax headphones and I just want to listen to them and see if they have like that amazing bass that you know they claim to have because I love I love bass and I'm actually going on a trip next month so I just have to get my headphones where you know I can really just block out everybody so yeah I'm just gonna listen to them and see how they sound and if they don't sound like 
I mean, five dollars. Some sometimes five little surprises you, and it's like you buy stuff, and it's five dollars, and it's like, oh wow, this is this is great. So if they sound really good, I'm going to keep them. If they don't, I'll just take them back. Five Below has an awesome return policy, so it's like just take them back. These are one of the things I went in there for. These are like slipper shoes. I'm not sure. I'm calling them slipper shoes. So basically, I wanted a pair of these for like when the weather gets warmer, and I just want to slip on something and go to class. These right here. So they were, oh yeah, those uh, headphones were $5, and these were $5. So, yeah, that's, this is one of the things I went in there for. I got this 2.4 amp, the dual USB wall charger, and the reason why is because I use a charger down there that's like this, and, you know, I mean, I want to, I basically just want to keep this in my purse. So, you know, when I take my charger places, I'll, I'll already have the wall adapter piece. So this was a, how much was this? Where's the receipt? Probably $5, let me see. Yep, yeah, $5. Uh, the only things that weren't $5 is this uh, facial treatment I'm about to show you. Uh, this bad thing I'm about to show you. Okay, the book was, the book was $2. Huh, what in the world? Hold on, it says five bucks right here, but he rung me up $2. So moving along, I got this uh, cleansing apple cider vinegar clay mask and scrub. So I don't like using all this kind of stuff on my skin because I feel as though it doesn't work. But someone told me about apple cider vinegar and how like it does good on your skin. So it's like, I ran into this and I was like, sure, I'll try it. Um, so you put it on, you leave it on for like no more than 10 minutes and you wash it off. So we're going to see if it helps my skin because thought my skin was clearing up but then I could feel like an acne forming like right down here like you know when you can just feel them forming it's like oh my gosh oh well that was four dollars and last but not least this is one of the things I went in there for these uh three bath bombs they're lavender scented so that's wonderful for tonight and they were $3.99 so I'm, I'm really looking forward to this I'm looking forward to reading these books getting using my bath bombs you know washing my face it's just i love five below but let's stop these um headphones before i let y'all go you know because I, I i'll tell y'all whether to go to five below and get some headphones or not i think i probably said before not to but we shall see let's test them out open them up carefully just in case i gotta take them back so this is what they look like um my usual earphones that I use are Bluetooth, so I was kind of hoping they would be Bluetooth, but if they're not, so. One pair of headphones that I got, I think from Wish, they're Bluetooth, but they don't really sound all that great, so. I noticed that the cord is really long. I think they bragged that it's like over four feet long. Where is it? Um, cable length, 4.92 feet. So yeah, I mean, this cable length is almost five feet, so it's almost, the, uh, almost my height. But I like how like thick they feel and just official. So I'm gonna listen to them. I'm gonna take my earphones. Oh, no, what is the thing it's called? Uh, earrings out. I'm gonna try them on. Do they feel cheap? Yes, of course they're five below. So you know, don't don't, don't get on them too much about that. All right. Okay. There we go. One thing that's good about having the cable, the old-fashioned cable. <laughs> And I don't have to worry about my Bluetooth headphones, you know, going out of battery. Wish they'd done that before. I don't have to worry about that with these. All right. It's like they don't sound bad, but they don't sound good. I keep telling myself, Alexis, you gotta pay if you want some good headphones, like. I'm trying to debate, like, if I want some good Bluetooth headphones, like, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna have to pay. Like, I was looking at the Bose headphones, <laughs> but I can't afford that now. But, um, uh, I'm just gonna carefully put these back in the box, and tomorrow, after work, or something or other, I'll just take them on back, package them back up. See, it, it, it looks like I hadn't even opened them up. Perfect. Perfect. Just take them on back. But, okay, that's it for my Five Below haul, uh, Five Below books haul oh my, oh my I, i'm just i'm really excited for this but i'm about to call it a night like i said i've been up since 6 a.m so i'm going to sleep thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you do that thumbs this video up and i will talk to y'all another day Bye bye <laughs>